House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said Sunday she would seek another term as Speaker if Democrats retain control after the November 3rd. Asked by CNN's Jake Tapper if she was going to run for another term as Speaker, she replied that, as long as Democrats keep the House, yes, I am. Ms. Pelosi said on State of the Union before turning her attention to the corona. But let me also say that we have to win the Senate. She said, All this discussion of the virus takes us to the importance of this election. Vote your health. Pollsters expect Democrats to retake the House, which currently has 232 Democrats, 197 Republicans, one Libertarian, and five vacancies. The California Democrat became the first female House Speaker in 2007. She lost her post when Republicans took over in 2011 but regained the Speakership after Democrats won control of the chamber in the 2018 midterm elections. The Biden campaign continued Sunday to engage in damage control on the Democrats' debate pledge to transition from the oil industry, accusing President Trump of trying to distort Joe Biden's position. Biden campaign deputy manager Kate Bedingfield insisted that people are not going to lose jobs under a Biden administration, even though the former vice president's clean energy plan calls for net zero United States carbon emissions by 2050. Ms. Bedingfield said on NBC's Meet the Press There is only one person in this country who Joe Biden thinks should lose his job, and that is Donald Trump. Donald Trump is trying to distort Joe Biden's position on this because he's desperate to be running against anybody but Joe Biden. That's been true from the start of this primary. Mr. Biden said during Thursday's debate that he would transition from the oil industry because the oil industry pollutes significantly. Mr. Trump responded by saying, That's a big statement, and will you remember that, Texas? Will you remember that, Pennsylvania? Oklahoma? Ms. Bedingfield said Mr. Biden would end subsidies for the oil industry. During the debate, Mr. Trump pointed out that the solar and wind industries benefit from significant federal subsidies for renewable energy. Ms. Bedingfield said, If you take a step back, Joe Biden has put forward an aggressive climate change plan that has been endorsed by climate groups, but it's also been endorsed by labor because it is also a jobs plan. She added, He believes we are not only going to create new jobs, we are going to maintain jobs. People are not going to lose jobs under a Biden administration. Texas Governor Greg Abbott, a Republican, said Friday that Joe Biden's plan to transition from the oil industry would kill nearly 430,000 jobs in his state, while Joe Biden has argued that his plan would create millions of jobs in the clean energy sector and in retrofitting infrastructure.